Hello and welcome to my session on the Wickham V2 APIs for the content management new editions. It's a powerful new APIs, including an API explorer you can use to manage your content as well as your new sites. My name is Thomas Horik. I'm part of the development team of Digital Experience at HDR Software and have worked on the product since year 2002. On the left-hand side, we can already see our new API explorer in this session, I'm going to give a little demo on how to use it. Let's get started in the demo here. And um, there is a separate session that talks about the um, new um, sites, uh, Design Studio. And in here, we'll take a look at a uh, quick look at um, the different pages that are available. So our new pages that are stored in the content management system. And um, of course, how they're being rendered as well coming from existing content. This gives some background to understand the new API Explorer. So I'm going to jump to our URL here and how I can see the new API Explorer. And this will be deployed both for on-premise deployments when you're moving to 196 or higher, as well as for um, container-based deployments. So, so far, if you were using the WCM API, you had to look into the Info Center. Um, here, for instance, how to use the Query API um, that has a lot of options, how to use it. And um, it also outlined like how to uh, create items. And while very powerful, it is by default an Atom XML and uh, also not always easy to identify how to use this API. So our new API Explorer and for our version two APIs addresses multiple goals. One is to make it easier to uh, use our new APIs and to find out how they work by uh, using the uh, API Explorer. The other part is we have also uh, just returned JSON now in an open API compliant way. So it's easier to leverage the APIs in any kind of client. And then also um, we have exposed our new artifacts being in this case, the container, the uh, content page, as well as the site. What are new artifacts that we did have, not have so far until we introduced the new design studio sites. You might be familiar already with the components. At the moment, um, we expose style sheets and menus, and we'll be exposing more here as well. So let's try out our API here. In this case, um, I can click on the get for the search API, and um, I can try it out, and then here fill out whatever parameters I want. For instance, here, I want to add the uh, sample article and uh, execute that. When I execute it, I get back the JSON response. And here, based on that, I can figure out how that works. Um, it also explains like what the schema is for my particular response. So here in our samples, we can see what the response codes are. In this case, we got a 200 response, which means successful. But also in case of errors, we also see the according response body that we would expect to come back. That was uh, for a search. And as you can see, the search is very powerful. Um, as well here, where you can, for instance, search by a parent or by a template uh, or by the state, for instance, if you want to get drafts or published, and also if you want to um, do searches that are case insensitive. Let's take one of these IDs here and take a look at details of a content item. For that, we'll scroll up and take a look at the content section. In this case here, we want to do a get first. So in our get, we are going to insert the ID and uh, going to execute that and get back the uh, results. In this case, now, if we look at the schema here, we have the ID, the title, um, we have the last modifier and all kinds of other information as well. Like for instance, um, like what is on that page. In this case, it's a rich text component with this particular content here. What we can now do is update this content. So we'll take the uh, result of the get call and uh, copy that and make some modifications and then send it back in a put operation. So we'll take this and uh, try it out now in a put. And um, we'll, uh, we'll set that and uh, give it a trial operation in there uh, in our updated content. We'll paste that, but we could also use the sample. In this case, we calling uh, the title, for instance, sample article two, and the same for the display title, and uh, going to send that in. And maybe we can also make changes further on in the rich text component if we wanted to. We'll 
try that out. Um, hit the execute, and uh, we can see that um, how the curl command would look like, and we get a response body back. In this case, we see that the display title has changed to a sample article two. Um, you can also um, like inspect the content that's coming back. You can download it. It's a regular uh, open API compliant uh, API that you can leverage to uh, perform any operations. And what we saw earlier right um, in here was that we have two uh, pages currently existing. So we can try that out too with the API Explorer where we can get uh, the uh, content pages here uh, and also update it or create new content pages. We will be extending this API going forward with many more features coming up, all the additional components that you might need, the ability to um, seed your site with different data and so on. Um, all of that is coming up. So stay tuned for updates with 197 and further out. Also for the ability to render and leverage content in an SPA on the client side rendering. Is you want to, for instance, get all the contents back from a rendering a menu. Um, the first API is already available. There's many more to come. So stay tuned. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. My name is Thomas Hurek, and you can reach me at thomas.hurek at hcl.com. Thank you.